This video will cover the Commodities, Micro Resources and Materials panels of Ed Discovery. You can find these under the selector. You can of course pop the panels out into their own windows or put them on a tab or put them inside a splitter. For our demonstration, I'll put them inside a splitter on the main history tab. We will start with the commodities panel. The commodities panel shows you the current list of commodities in your hold. Here you can see the name of the commodity, the commodity type, the number you have, and the average price you paid for it. If any commodities are involved in engineering recipes, they will be shown here. The commodities panel, the materials panel and the micro resources panel all follow the history cursor of the nearest history panel. The nearest panel is normally the history panel on the first tab. But if you have a splitter or grid, you may have a history panel inside that splitter or grid, in which case the commodities, micro resources and materials panel will follow that cursor instead. The panels always show the state at the cursor. So the panel at the moment is showing that I've got computer components. If you move the cursor up or down, the panel will update to show you the current state at the history cursor position. When Ed Discovery starts, it always sets the move cursor to the latest entry button on. This is normally what you want because you normally want these panels, such as the commodities panel, to update and show you the latest amount of goods. But if you're moving back in history and moving the cursor backwards, you may not want that to happen, in which case, turn the follow cursor button off. What happens in Elite will then not affect these panels. The commodity panel has controls. The filter button allows you to decide which commodities are shown. The next button allows you to control whether or not you show entries with no counts. When it's green, it shows all the entries, even if you don't currently own the commodity. When it's red, it will knock out all the zero entries. The final button allows you to control word wrap. The next panel is the materials panel. It works in the same way as the commodities panel and has the same controls. Here you can see with materials, having many different recipe uses, you can see which recipes are associated with each material. Turning on word wrap helps the formatting of that. The final panel is the micro resources panel, which again works exactly the same as the other two panels and show you all the micro resources you've collected in Odyssey. Note that the micro resources shows both what's in your ship locker and in your backpack. When you're not on foot, the backpack will always be empty. The abbreviation in both the materials and the micro resources panels are an internal abbreviation used which appear in recipe data. I hope you've enjoyed the quick tour of these three crucial panels for commanders. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.